Well, one, you're right. Where a business requires practically no capital, we tend to reward the management based on the earnings. The minute the business starts requiring capital, we tend to put a capital factor into this compensation system. We don't have any one standard system. They're all different based on accidents of history and, and uh, circumstances. Uh, but where capital's an important factor, of course we take it into account. Uh, as far as effects on morale, uh, as far as I've ever been able to see, the morale's pretty good in the Berkshire subsidiaries and the Berkshire managers practically never leave and uh, my guess is we have about as low a turnover rate as any place around. Is that right, Warren? Well, I'm sure of that. And besides, the, the no retirement policy is wonderful for my morale <laughs> <laughs> and Charlie's. The, uh, you know, also asked about EBA. We, 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 uh, we, we would not dream of using something like that, although I think actually a few of our subsidiaries may use it in some way. So uh, the subsidiaries set their policies for the pay of the people below the the CEO and, the, and all, they have all kinds of systems uh, because we have all kinds of businesses and frankly we've never had big problems with compensation because I think our, our arrangements are rational when capital is an important part of the business we stick a charge for capital in if it's an unimportant part of the business we don't stick it in we don't believe in making things more complex than needed so we don't try for little all kinds of little refinements which a compensation consultant would come in and tell you was needed because that's how he would justify a large bill and he would also come in and tinker with it a little the following year and the following year and so on we have very simple systems on comp but some of our businesses are terrific businesses and so we have very high standards of performance before people get performance bonuses some of our businesses are very tough businesses and the threshold is much lower, but the managerial talent needed to reach that threshold is just as much as in the, in, in the, with the higher threshold in other businesses. It's not a, compensation is not rocket science. I mean, people will want you to think it is, and you read these proxy statements and it blows your mind what they get into. I mean, the proxy statements are thicker than the annual reports because they're talking about the compensation of, of people. And it is not that complicated. We've had, in 38 years, we have never had a CEO leave us to go to another uh, business, except a few we've, where we've made the decision ourselves, but very few. Uh, and it is, you know, I see all of the, the time and effort um, put in because, put in because, frankly, it pays off for the, the CEO to do it, and then they create a whole department that, that spends all their time attending conferences about, you know, about compensation methods and they have consultants in and and it becomes a it becomes an industry and it isn't going to break itself up i mean you you when you get those when you get a huge bureaucracy involved in making all kinds of pay determinations and everything it's, it's never going to go away unless you do something about it but that's true that's true of any bureaucracy we run into we don't have much bureaucracy at at berkshire done i think that there's no question that our no retirement policy means that somebody who's just itching to be the CEO of a business and they see that the CEO is 65 and then 70 and then 75 above them at some of our companies is probably not going to stick around. I mean, we, we don't develop naturally lots of number twos because we can't promise them that number one is going to go out the door. Uh, but as long as number one doesn't go out the door, from our standpoint, that's just fine. And we occasionally have to replace managements, but it's very occasional. I mean, if on an expectancy basis, you know, with the, even with all the subsidiaries we have, you know, we may face one management succession policy, a problem perhaps every 18 months or something of the sort. And we've got all kinds of other businesses. So it's, it's, uh, it's not a big deal at Berkshire. Yeah, and on EVA, Oh. There are ideas implicit in that that we use. For instance, hurdle rates by op based on opportunity costs, perfectly reasonable concept. But to us, that system with all its labels and lingo 
has a lot of baggage that we don't need. We just use the implicit simple stuff that's buried in EBA. Yeah. We could spend a million bucks a year on consultants to get an answer we can get in five minutes, frankly. I mean, it, it, is, it just isn't that complicated. But can you imagine a consultant coming around and saying, I've got a one paragraph compensation arrangement for you. Are they going to be able to send you a, a large bill for you know, their consultancy? Of course not. So they've got to make things complicated. And we don't believe in that. We want things that are very easy to understand and that, and we've just never had a problem with it. And, and we get good results out of our managers. The main reason we get good results out of our managers is that, you know, they like hitting 400. They like hitting 400 and being fairly paid, but they, uh, the fact that they batted 400 is, is the biggest thing to them in life. And, and, and it's, you know, it's, it's sort of the way we feel. If we get a good batting average in our business performance, the, the pay is incidental. Now, it shouldn't be incidental to our managers. It's got to be fair or they're going to, nobody wants to work in, in, a, in an environment where they feel they're being treated unfairly. But uh, uh, that is not a complicated procedure. And we do make them very specific to the enterprise that's under their control. We do not pay the people that seize candy based on how the Buffalo News does or vice versa. And I can show you a lot of crazy compensation systems in corporate America where that really is the ultimate effect of what's happening. Number seven, 